There's a brand new movie coming to Netflix tomorrow based on the true story of 16-year-old Jessica Watson called True Spirit. Joining us now is the film's producer, Susan Kartsanis. Uh, great to see you, first of all. This movie looks amazing. I watched the trailer. My heart was pounding. Tell us about how you even decided to make this movie. It's, it seems like such a daunting task. Well, it was an amazing uh, journey <laughs> making the movie. It was the middle of COVID. Um, I have an old friend who had brought this project to Netflix. Her name's Deborah Martin Chase. She also serves as a producer on the project. She couldn't go to Australia where we made it. It's an Australian, it's a story of an Australian teenager because she was producing a big television show and was in New York. And I was asked to take over the reins. So as I said, it takes a village. In March of 2021, I jumped on a plane um, and I went. We assembled uh, a crew um, from the United States by Zoom in Australia, an all-Australian crew and our cast, um, which includes Anna Paquin and Cliff Curtis from Avatar and the amazing Tegan Croft, who plays the role of Jessica Watson, the first, um, the, the youngest person to ever um, circumnavigate the globe, sail around the world in a sailboat without ever touching land for 10 months, uh, about 12 years ago. And I wanted to tell the story because I remember her story on the news and um, it, I just I just had to I had to tell it. Also, she suffered solitude for 10 solid months and we were in the middle of COVID and we were all going through that solitude. And I thought families and kids will relate to this and have been through something. She she came through it. She came through it victoriously after a lot of trials and tribulations, uh, which we depict in the story. And that's basically beginning to end with a lot of details I've skipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, what's fascinating too, it is a true story. It is fascinating to watch the trailer. I can't wait for you guys to see the movie tomorrow. But what were some of the challenges you had filming this? Because it's ocean, it's a boat, it's water. She oh almost gets God. capsized. I mean, that has got to be a challenge right there. Well, seasickness was one of them. And I'll tell you, the director and the cinematographer were fine, but somehow the star and the producer, uh, well, let's just say we threw up a few times while shooting on the open ocean, but we didn't just shoot on the open ocean. We also create the impression that we're on the open ocean using about six different incredible rigs, including one called a gimbal that's about 20 feet off the ground with a boat perched on it. It looks like a giant scissor lift and it's controlled by a computer and it moves basically to the rhythm of the ocean depending on whether it's a calm ocean or whether it's a stormy ocean so that is a kind of remarkable thing and you throw water at the boat that's 20 feet up with an actor and a stunt person on board and you blow wind at it to create a, you know a huge storm so uh, we had six of these um it was crazy it was great so how did, I'm curious too, you know, this is all Australian cast and crew. You're there, the American. What was the experience like being in Australia for that long and working with these Australians? Well, first you have to learn to speak Australian. I'm just kidding. Of course, they speak English. But there are a lot of expressions that, uh, you know, that, that they use in Australia that are unfamiliar to us. So if you put on a swimsuit, you're putting on your bathers and, um, wow. you know, your sunglasses or your sunnies and um, everybody has a nickname, usually with an O at the end. I'd be something like Suzo. And, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a different place and there are different ways of working. But basically on a movie set, everybody's concerned with the same thing, safety first mm -hmm. and getting the work. I mean, on a good movie set, you you, you you really, especially with stunts and rigs and children and um, visual effects, there are a lot of bells and whistles. So you want to make sure that everybody's safe. And, and, and that's, you know, basically it. So I got to say, Susan, I identify with some of those Australian remarks. I worked on a cruise ship with Australians and my name is Jeremy. Guess what they called me? They called me Jezza. They always, Jezza. Yeah. <laughs> so I know exactly what you're talking about. I've had that nickname now, <laughs> so I get it. Do you have any favorite memories from, from the shoot that just resonate with you that will always just stick with you? 
Oh my gosh, so many of them. Um, we were sailing um, out in the middle of the ocean. We had six boats out there to shoot one boat um, for safety. We had one boat to ferry people in. Anyway, we're just sailing along on the beautiful Gold Coast of Australia and Queensland, Australia. And all of a sudden we see migrating whales. It was amazing. Oh. And the cinematographer, Danny Ruhlman, captured them. Um, and it's it, it was just remarkable. So oh. you know the, the sea creatures that that you see in the the movie, um, some of them are um, sort of put into different sections where they would be, but some of them are real. So that's amazing. It, just to know. And one final question before we run out of time. I'm a huge Anna Paquin fan. What does she like to work with? Well, she's remarkable. She brings her talent every day and she raises the bar qualitatively <laughs> for everybody. She has such focus and such brilliance and she brought that intensity and was just amazing. You know, I too have been a fan since she was a little, little girl yeah. and it was just a remarkable thing to work with her. And the rest of the cast too, um, Cliff Curtis, who is just, uh, he's he's just amazing. He He's just uh, kind and generous um, to everybody on, on, uh, on, you know, in the film. Uh, Josh Lawson, who was in Mortal Kombat, is amazing. And Tegan Croft, who's uh, just in this performance, just brings everything she's got and really captures Jessica's journey in an amazing way. That's amazing. So I hope everybody will see it on Friday. Oh, <laughs> I, I cannot wait to watch it. And by the way, we can't wait to have you back for your next project, your next film, because we always look forward to speaking with you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you again. Yes, yeah, Susan, thank you so much. And don't forget that True Spirit drops on Netflix tomorrow, February 3rd. Check it out. Thanks so much, Susan. Thank you.